Hello and welcome to this driving test video in Birmingham. So I'm with Rebecca today. Hello. And she passed the test, was it two years ago? Yeah, about two years ago, yeah. Yeah, so she's already a full license holder, but we're going to do the test in the new format because she did the old format without the sat nav. This route won't actually include a sat nav because one in five tests don't do the sat nav, but you don't know Birmingham, do you? No, not no, at she's all. not from Birmingham. She's not driven this car before either, so it's going to be a good challenge. So subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. But for now, let's get straight into the test. So we're going to do the tell me question to begin with. You may know it's different now because the tell me is done at the beginning. The show me is yeah. done on the move. I know you don't know the car controls, but the, these will be questions you know the answers to anyway with the, the show me. So can you tell me first of all how you check your brakes are working before you start a journey? Um, the brakes shouldn't feel spongy or slack, and when you brake or when you start moving, the brakes or the car should move to one pull to yeah, one side. That's fine. So the same as on your test that you did before. Just follow the road ahead at all times, unless road signs or markings direct you otherwise. If I want you to turn left or right, I'll ask you in plenty of time. If you're not sure of any directions, just ask. Yeah. And I can repeat those. Okay, so if you want to move off whenever you're ready, we'll go to the right. If you just turn and drive up over those bumps. And where those men are with the golf caddy things, we'll turn left just by the yellow gate. Mm -hmm. Just after what is middle. And at the end of the road, we'll turn left. And then we'll turn the next road on the right. on the right where the van just turned into. And then we'll pull up on the left somewhere before this, just around this area. We're not bothered about driveways, so we know what we'll do just for now. Okay, there'll be several of these throughout the test, as you may know. We just pull up and pull off again. So, whenever it's safe, we'll carry on. And then we'll take the next road on the right. And if you can pull up 
further on, just before the silver car facing us. If you're leaving the phone to pull away again, we get about a car's length away from it. Don't worry about driveways on this occasion. That's fine, that'll do. Okay, thanks for whenever it's safe, we'll carry on. And at the end of the road, we'll turn right. But we'll then be turning left very soon after you turn. First left just coming up. And at the end of this road, we'll turn left. Take the next road on the right. And then the next road on the right again. right just before that parked car facing us, just on the right hand side. We'd not bother about driveways driveway, just before that car. Okay, we're lucky to reverse the car two car lengths. If you keep coming back and I'll just say stop and I'll come back far enough. This will be a manoeuvre you might not have done before. Oh, no. <laughs> so, that's good. Stuff there. Okay, then when it's safe, we'll carry on. And we'll be taking the next road on the right. On this road somewhere, you keep it quite slow to look for somewhere to pull up. Just on the left before his brown car, yeah, we're not bothered about driveways, just for now, we won't be there for more than a few seconds. That's fine. 
So I'm now going faster to drive independently for some time. What we're going to do is go into the road left and then follow the road signs for Birmingham Airport and Solihull. Yeah. They both go the same way, just keep following those. Okay, so whenever it's safe, we'll carry on. somewhere safe before that white car. Ok, 
okay when it's safe we'll carry on At the moment that's the end of independent driving, we will do some more signs later, but for now we're going to go right on the roundabout, third exit. And about we'll go left first exit. And we'll put the on the left somewhere safe. When it's safe, we'll carry on. Follow the sign for Maypole. It won't be just yet, but eventually you will get to one saying Maypole.
it's the end of independent driving now, so I'll give you directions again. But for now, just continue to follow the road ahead. Take the next road on the right. Road on the left. And we'll probably get one more time on the left, somewhere just before the silver car. When it's safe, we'll carry on. End of the road, we'll go right. If it's safe to do so, I'd like you to show me how you'd open and close the window. Now the roundabout, we're going to take the second exit. Roundabout ahead, second exit.
it's somewhere safe. If anywhere before the end of the road is safe, that's up to you. Okay, money's safe, we'll carry on. end of the road will turn right. The next row down the right back into the centre. Follow it round to the right, back to where we began. We should park in any available bay. We've already done a manoeuvre, so this doesn't count as a manoeuvre. If I'm to turn off it, I'll just give you a moment to, to do this. So, what do you think about that? Yeah, it was quite good. Yeah. Any problems or? No. Anything? It's different to what I'm used to. Yeah. What was the main difference? I don't know really. I was, well, cause linkage is quite flat, so I'm not yeah. used to doing like hill starts <laughs> and that. Yeah. And so, so. That one you wouldn't have passed for two reasons. You're not far off it, but I'll tell you any idea why, because there's two things I haven't put in just yet, but there's a couple of things that would come up. Any ideas? No, no. not clear. So, the moving off, where'd you have to check when you move off? Oh, yeah, blind spots. That's it, because yeah. a few times you weren't doing them. You did some, but now there's the one on the right you did, especially you pulled up on the right to have manoeuvre. You check that one well, and you moved off. Sometimes you did it, but other times you weren't. That's why I pulled up so often, so I was sort of trying to give you a chance to do that. This is that one. The other one is the speed. What do you notice about the speed? Speeding slightly? Yeah, you know, you really, you're flying around like Max. You've watched my video, I'm going like this. <laughs> you're flying around corners so quick, you're going way too quick. So, is that used to speed? I'm guessing it's because you used to a smaller engine. Yeah. Because you said yours are one litre. Yeah. You put, you've raced in a while on Madsen Road, you're going so fast. I'm almost going for the brake, so you've just got to slow it down. I know you might not normally drive that, it's a different car, different area, I know. Um, but it's just a bit too quick. So there's one where you pull off from, um, you won't know the area, but there's one big lake on the left with those ducks. It was not long, I said follow the sign for Maypole. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just before there. Because when you moved off, it was good, but there was a car behind you. You're getting out of the way, but you're going so quick, you're, like, you're having to race out of the way. So, how could you get rid of that problem? Slow down a bit earlier. Yeah. Well, what would you do? Like, if you're having to pull off and race away in front of people, what should you be doing? 
Um, oh, what shouldn't you be doing ideally? I'm not sure. Just don't go. Just wait. Yeah. Cause oh, you're moving yeah, up with yeah. the same clothes. You have to race one and build a two, three. Just wait for the bus. It's good you've been positive, but you've been a bit too positive. <laughs> yeah. I think it's probably because of the engine difference. That's why. Because if you go like a one liter to one point five turbo, it is quite a difference. Yeah. And if you normally put your foot down, you simply don't need to do that. Yeah. Um, there's a few other little things I mentioned, which are the mirrors. When you come off around about, you don't do sometimes. So which one do you need to check in particular? Um, when you're coming off any roundabout or most roundabouts. Middle mirror and, and then which way I'm going, left or right. That's it, because sometimes you're not doing that one. I didn't see you doing that one. Because you wear glasses, it is hard to tell sometimes, but I didn't see you checking that one at all, because normally your head would move towards that. Um, you're doing a lot of them, but just not some of them. So it's just those really, they're moving off safely. It's just, it's called safety because it's just about checking, not the safety check over your shoulder. Um, the few other things I'll go over, I'm just going to run through some of these. The signals is one you notice yourself on the roundabout, you signal left and took it off. Yeah, we're going yeah we're going to realise, yeah. Yeah, that was it. It's just when you come off, you didn't then signal to come off. So yeah. it's just a minor thing. We call it driver faults. They're called minor faults for the proper names, driver faults. Um, just thinking of any of this, the manoeuvre was good. We didn't do emergency stop because that just doesn't come up on that one. The other one is when you pulled up on the left here at the kerb. You get yeah, really I did, close yeah, I did, that kerb. I did, yeah. Yeah, because a lot of times when you pull up before, you might see them going like this because you're so close, you're like, you're not even a millimetre from the kerb. Get a different car, but just yeah, get really used to a small car, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So that would be um, another small fault. So there's only going to be what, three, four, five, six, seven minors or seven driver faults. The two serious, you just also moving off, checking your shoulder, just even more. That's so simple to do. You just just look over your shoulder. Sometimes you moved off, then you did it like that. Yeah, you got it should before. do it beforehand, yeah. Yeah, because if you move then, look, it's too late. This, by the way, is based on what examiners do, because I've been on over 400 tests, so I know exactly what to say. I know people argue you won't fail for that, but you do, because I've seen it happen over and over. Normally, a bit of a tip for anyone watching, if you keep being pulled over again and again and again, sometimes they're trying to tell you you're not doing it right. right not all the time, yeah. but they're trying to say, you know, I had one examiner once, he pulled over and he went, he was trying to tell her, look over your shoulder, and she still didn't do it. And he was trying to say, look, you know, what's coming from there? And she didn't do it at all. But overall, it's pretty good. Um, so, there's nothing to, nothing to be bad about. It's just got the moving off and the speed. Yeah. Just got to sort of slow it down a little bit. Um, anything else you want to go over? I think that's all the things I was going to say. No, 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 that yeah. sounds quite reasonable. Yeah. So, we're going to try another one now. Yeah. To get another chance to try a second mock test and see how that goes. So, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, check out these video, videos on the screen now. One thing I meant to say, by the way, about the speed, you can tell you're going quite quick, because we got back in about 33 minutes. <laughs> so normally that's about 36, 37 minutes, but if you did it that quick, you can tell you're going quite quick. So it's good you've been positive, but uh, yeah, check out these videos on the screen now, and I'll see you again soon for more videos.